I just got done crawling in my skin. Uh, these wounds, they cannot heal. How's it going guys? Garrett and Henry here with Live in Everett. Just got done doing a brake job in my car, so I decided uh, to take my buddy Garrett here out for some $2 pints and tamales. Sorry, $2.50 pints and tamales right here at the Scuttlebutt Tap Room and Brewery. The tamales are by Lost Tamales. They are very good. I'm very excited to eat some Mexican food and drink some beer. Yeah, I haven't tried the tamales yet. I've heard good things. I'm excited. You ready? Born ready. All right, let's go. Guys, we just got done grubbing it up at the Scuttlebutt Tap Room on some Lost Tamales. So, uh, Henry, what'd you think? Phenomenal, as always. Uh, Lost Tamales fed us during Fisherman's Village Music Festival. Uh, they really hooked it up for us at the fest, and they hooked it up for us here today. Uh, I got a chicken tamale. It was delicious. I sampled everything. Hugo brought out a ton of food for us. He was super cool. So thank you so much, Hugo. Uh, the birria was really, really good. Super rich, delicious, fantastic. I want like a mug of that in the morning on like a 30 degree day. I think it'd be phenomenal. Um, I can't say better things. And the root beer here at Scuttlebutt Tap Room is fantastic. It's, their beer's good, the root beer, Maybe on par with the beer. Sometimes I just don't even get the beer. I get the root beer instead. It's good stuff. It was my first time trying Lost Tamales. I've been hearing great things, and so I was really excited to finally try it out. I had a pork and a chicken tamale. The chicken was pretty good, but I loved the pork. It was really delicious. Uh, great flavor through some uh, sour cream and some of the uh, medium hot sauce on there. He had some nice... Uh, different sauces and limes and things to choose from. Hugo hooked us up, which thank you so much by the way, H Hugo, the owner of Lost Tamales. Typically the tamales run, are they about five dollars each? Five bucks each. Uh, but they're really big though. I, I was surprised by how large they were. I got two of them and I didn't even fi quite finish them. He's down here at the Scuttlebutt Tap Room every single Thursday when they have their uh, two dollar and fifty cent uh, pint nights. And uh, oh, what is this rustling I hear back there? Oh, Hi, Sierra. Hi guys. hello there. Sierra, what do you think? I thought it was great. I got the jackfruit tamale, which I've had before, and it was delicious once again. But what I was really excited about was the birria taco, and it came with the cup of broth, as Henry and Garrett were talking about. Super rich and delicious, and they told me to put some fresh onion and lime in there and dip the taco in there, and wow, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty special. Would recommend. Definitely dip the taco in the sauce. Oh yeah. Scuttlebutt has great drink selection. Sometimes they also have unreleased beers that they're like trying out small batches that they'll have here at the tap room, which is really cool. I had a cherry stout, I believe it was, and it was really good. I was nervous that the cherry flavor would be too strong, but it was very subtle, well balanced. Really, really liked it. Love to have that one again. Saturday, August 24th, when we're doing the Everett Food Truck Festival, uh, Hugo will have his Lost Tamales cart there at the Food Truck Festival. And then that same day on August 24th, the Upper Left Beer Fest is going on and Scuttlebutt will be participating in the Beer Fest. So you can try out some of their tasty beers as well. So uh, definitely mark your calendars for Saturday, August 24th. If you're watching this video when it comes out, that's this weekend. So we'd love to see you there. And uh, otherwise, we put these videos out every single Monday, so we will see you next week. And uh, if we don't see you before then, we'll see you at the Food Truck Festival. Bye!